get them. So, finally able to get them doing the whole bulls thing, right? <laughs> so, during the years, the many decades of my targeting, right? Whenever I speak about my targeting, they will use the mental illness label, right? At first, that's what they were doing. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, you're this, you're that. Right? Again, in the attempt to try to bring me back into Christianity, it doesn't work. So from time to time, you'll see them wear, uh, they'll see them some people with wearing the Chicago Bulls hat, the Chicago, uh, you know, like he had on the bag, a Chicago Bulls bag. Right? <laughs> and, um, you know, one of the things that I, one of the websites that I used to uh, go to to look for information and also for inspiration was an article, was a website called The Religion of Bullshit, right? And it says that um, bullshit is bullshit no matter who believe it to be true. It's still bullshit. So that's one of the websites that I was going to. So not knowing that that was preparing me for how they were going to start attacking me and what type of uh, messages, subliminal messages that they would send, okay? And the fact is that you have these people who orchestrate behind closed doors, who engage in covert warfare, covert psychological warfare, okay? In order to entrap you and to deceive you and trick you into becoming a Christian or to enslave you within the society, right? To make you an indent, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, I just, I said it, I said the word earlier. Uh, yeah, they create this involuntary servitude type uh, situation with you as the, the target of the victim. And they sit high on their religious bullshit, thinking that because you don't believe in their religion that they can do whatever they want to you. Not understanding that they are the very same people, particularly for black people, the very same people who, be, who believe in the same religion that they do, who feels that they can also treat them as black people however way they want to. So I want you to understand the hip hypocrisy and the ridiculousness of what it is the mind of a religious indoctrinated sheep particularly as a black person is right what they don't realize and don't think about right the very same people who they align themselves with the white racist people and they'll tell you that we don't care about their racism just as long as they believe in Jesus Christ they're part of the same religious belief so it doesn't matter if he's a, he or she's a racist. It doesn't matter if he or she trying to take away your vote, to, to your, your rights to vote, right? They got rid of it for affirmative action using uh, Asian Americans. They put other groups against us as black people. In the community that we live, you look at the stores, you know, operated primarily, used to be operated primarily by the Hispanics. Now, the Arabs is another group that they use them. And they're using the Arabs against the Hispanics. So when they use one group against black people, they're bringing another group and uses them against that group and black people. But many don't want to see that because their racism is so strong. Racial, racism in America is one of the strongest things you can try to get rid of because you're not going to get rid of it. Right? Even if your own people will exhibit uh, racism towards you. Right? For trying to make them understand what's going on to try to open up their eyes you know but I always say we always say this you know the slave and the master worshiping the same God right the same God that's telling the slave master to enslave black people to hang them lynch them in today's society what they've done is to, to basically economically castrate black people all right or what is economic what is called economic apartheid in America all right, and we have yet to figure it out as a group of people. And I'm not talking about a few hundred thousands of us or even a few million of us. 
I'm talking about the entire 48 million black people in America. Alright? Religion is the one thing that we have yet to free our minds from. Alright? Because it has a very powerful hold on our psyche. When, you, when you're brainwashed from, from since you're young, it's very hard to get rid of that condition. Alright, talk to you guys in the next video.